Wow. Wow. This is this is pretty big news on the Cantor front. Remember, there was a couple of, of statistics about the uh, Virginia 7 election, and uh, one of which there was about 17,000 new voters relative to 2012. As you know, Cantor lost by almost, what was it, 10 percentage points, 11 percentage points in this race, 17,000 new voters, which represented like a 25 percent jump in the amount of voters. I mean, we're not talking a lot of people, uh, relatively speaking, uh, voted in this primary, but certainly more than in 2012. Basically, everyone came to the conclusion that at the end of the day, the real thing that doomed Cantor was that he was such an a-hole and had lost contact with his, his constituents. There was an attempt to make the argument that this is about a Tea Party revolt and that it was about immigration and that this was the Republican base speaking out against corporate corruption, taking on their establishment. Well... I don't think so. Mike Murphy, the former McCain advisor, and I haven't seen, uh, I have not seen the poll itself. So we need to see the, uh, the, the links to this poll, obviously. But reports that a post-election poll says that Cantor won Republicans by nine percentage points. He lost independents and Democrats by 38 points. 47% of the voters in that primary where you can cross over were either independents and Democrats. Nearly 50% of the electorate that voted that day. Uh, The so-called Cooter effect. Cooter, of course, was the mechanic in Dukes of Hazard, uh, who also uh, ran for Congress, I believe, as a Democrat back in the day. And Brat won 72 points. Uh, I'm trying to see this now. Uh, was up one seventy two to 28 with Democrats. And uh, or uh, I should say one by a 72 percent margin with Democrats and a 24 percent margin with independents. We are still looking for uh, the. The difference here in terms of how many were actually Democrats and how many were independents. This really there's there's two takeaways to this. One is that Republicans will still vote for some for uh, ever, uh, someone that uh, everyone considers to be an a-hole. They still like voting for a-holes, uh, as they uh, uh, gave Eric Cantor the win. And two is is that every other narrative about this race, every national narrative about the Tea Party, and the, they're fighting the establishment, and Republicans, blah, 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 blah. bullshit. Uh, so, and I, I don't know. I mean, I, we got to look into these numbers, but it also really makes me wonder what, uh, about all we've been hearing about how motivated Democrats are to vote. I mean, they were just motivated to go out and vote against Cantor, not even in the general election. So uh, fascinating uh, results, if they um, tend to be true. It certainly would explain why the Republican uh, polling outfit got it so wrong. Because they just didn't sample Democrats, enough Democrats who were likely to vote. Very uh, interesting result, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) 